Hi, this is Richard from Production Room. Uh, just another little Cubase tip that I find uh, quite uh, useful. Uh, I do a lot of recording of real instruments and uh, real vocals, of course. So um, here we have um, a little a ditty, uh, Ladies a Tramp. Uh, we've got a female vocal on it uh, right here. Now, what I like to do, because uh, if I get a good performance out of someone, I don't, uh, but I've got a note on a change or there's a wrong note song, or I just want to try a new idea, I might not necessarily want to retake that vocal. I might just want to work on it uh, because I like the performance. So what you can do is um, if you take your vocal you recorded and double click on it, it will bring up the editor right here. Now on the left hand side here, we've got pitch and warp. And if I hit pitch and warp, it analyzes the audio and changes it into MIDI type blocks that we can see right here and those correspond to the keyboard here on the left hand side. So those are the notes that he reckons we are trying to sing. So if I take uh, this phrase right here um, and highlight them, uh, over here I've got quantize pitch and straighten pitch. Now if I gradually move the quantize pitch, you see the notes start to even out. Now that is sort of averaging uh, the notes it reckons we're trying to sing. Um, compared to real pitches. So if I just take that last phrase, in fact, and do that to all of them, just to bring them, it'll maintain the formant and everything, but it just moves them into relative pitch. Uh, now, underneath that, straighten pitch, this is a dangerous one to play with, because unless you want to use it as an effect, it's very, very effective, actually. If you put it on full, it'll just flatten everything out. Look at the waveform. Boom, that goes absolutely flat. So if I play that now, if I solo Catherine's vocal off there, and you can hear. That's why the lady is a, that is why the lady is a. So it's extreme. I mean, it's quite nice as an effect, um, but uh, only if you want it to be an effect. But I tend to stay away from that because otherwise it just sounds a little bit unnatural if you want it to sound uh, natural. So if I take that right off, now we've got the, uh, we'll maintain the, the shape of uh, the vocal there. But if, let's try and change the note. Let's have a listen to that. Let's take it off solo for a minute and have a listen. That's why the lady is a, that is why the lady is a. Right, I want to change that, um, that note there. So if I move my uh, arrow keys up and down, that's semitones. So uh, that is why the lady, that's that note. Dun. So let's try. Da, 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 da. Let's go up there fifth. Okay, let's try that again. Here we go. That's why the lady is a, that is why the lady is a, that's why the lady is a tramp. I quite like that. So, very, very quickly, that is um, very audio, just being used very, very simply. And one more thing you can do, you can lengthen notes as well, which is quite handy. So if I want that note there to end there and not there, then I can just stretch it and it doesn't change any of the notes either side of it. In fact, let's hear what that sounds like. That's why the lady is a, that is why the lady is a. You get the idea. Very, very handy stuff, this. And you can change it quite a lot without it to aliasing too much. So, um, uh, yeah, um, just thought I'd share that with you. That's quite a handy little thing to know. Uh, very audio in Cubase 7.5.